Hey guys, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a custom Elementor header and inject the some of the default elements that you typically see in a, uh, a My Listing header. So a lot of times people are hesitant to use a custom Elementor um, header because they, they don't think they're going to be able to easily add those default elements like quick search or the cart or direct messaging, adding those features into that custom header very easily. Um, also, when people buy starter sites from the club, um, I, I typically, well, I shouldn't, I'm, more often than not, I use a custom header just to show um, people some different ways that they can do, do things with my listing websites. But um, sometimes I'll get asked the question, um, how do I add uh, things like the quick search back to the uh, the custom headers for the starter sites. Um, I was just asked that today, in fact, and uh, when I was uh, giving the answer, I just thought to myself that, you know, it'd be good to do a video for, for everyone out there. So that's, that's what we're gonna do in this video, and I uh, hope you find this useful. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so I've already downloaded the Val starter site header, which you see here. Um, so we're going to import that into the my listing tutorial site and we're going to inject some of the default my listing header elements into that okay so i'm going to go ahead and shut this down um, so what we have here is the default my listing header on the tutorial site i'm going to take this header and replace it with a custom header and then borrow some of these these elements here so before i even start that i'm going to start a new tab just duplicate this tab so that way i always have this header as a reference okay so I'm going to um, jump back in here into my templates and I'm going to import the Val starter site header and I'm going to edit go ahead and edit that right off the bat the first thing I'm going to do is use the display conditions to apply this to my entire site And I'm going to refresh the uh, home page here. So you see just that quick and that easily you have a the custom header from the Val starter site. Pretty cool stuff. Um, the fonts, um, you just have to adjust based on your website. So every, every site will be different. So you just need to quickly adjust those fonts and whatnot if you want. Uh, obviously those are a bit too small. Um, but we still have this the other uh, header intact. We're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, borrow from that. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to replace this. We're going to play, replace this venues menu item. Uh, so you're going to, I'm just going to delete that, and I'm going to add the HTML widget. I'm going to add that there, and then I'm going to go back to my original header here, and I'm going to grab this quick search feature here at the top. So if you right click into that feature and inspect with your browser. What you're going to do is just go up this tree on the right side. Chrome, for example, is going to automatically highlight what you are inspecting. So if you just just go up, walk up this tree a little bit until you hit the logo. So there, we've hit the logo there on the top left. And then we just want to drop down one. Bam. So that's going to capture what we're trying to copy here. So select that and then hit these three little dots at the left. Edit as HTML. And we're just going to copy everything from this box. We're going to go back to our HTML element and drop this in. All right, and click update. Refresh our page. Now, it is the quick search is in there. It's shifted everything to the to the right. You just can't see it, and that is because um, it is uh, before it was transparent. So here, everything is transparent. Uh, because this is a white background, you're not going to see it. So we just need to adjust the placeholder text. Okay. And to do that, I'm going to jump into the back, back here and uh, in my code snippets. And for code snippets, I highly recommend WP Code Box for a lot of reasons. Um, but for the purposes of the video, I've already added the um, placeholder text CSS code snippet here. So I'm just going to toggle it on. And what we're doing in this snippet here is is we're setting a color of black, okay? So now that that's on there, let me go ahead and, or activated, let me go ahead and refresh this. 
There we go. But you'll notice that some of the elements are missing, like the icon for one. So let's go ahead and figure out where that icon's at. Let's go back and inspect this again. We're going to go up a level and we see this icon class, MI Search. So that's our icon. We just select it. And then you can change the color down here using your CSS. So just expand this and then type in. We see that it has a color assignment of white, FFF. So just you can click that box and see how it would look with your desired color. So we're going to put 111 in there. And there we go. Just like that, we've got our, our color there. So if we go copy this, go back to WP Code Box, and you can put it in your general CSS. Um, or you can just create a, a separate CSS file called header CSS. I'm going to go ahead and do that, show you how that works. So new snippet, so let's call this header. Change the snippet type to CSS, and you can leave it as inline or external file for better performance. I'll just leave it as inline for now and change this to be just showing on the front end for performance reasons and paste this in. Close our bracket there and take out everything but what we changed. So that's all we want to change is that color. Save, enable the code snippet, and refresh our page. There we go. So now let's go ahead and type some text in here. We notice that we can't see the text. We need a little bit more CSS to darken the text. So we've typed something in there. Let's go ahead and inspect it again. We see the header search input is also set to white. So we're just going to change this to black. There we go. Same process. Just copy all of this. Go back to WP code box, drop it in. Save. Refresh our page. And there we go. Just like that, we've added that feature into our custom header. Um, and you, the same, it's the same process. If you want, for example, the cart or the direct messaging, uh, right click, inspect, walk up this tree on the right hand side in, in your browser and grab, you know, the HTML for all of it. Okay. So it's this one right here. You're going to grab, edit as HTML and you're going to grab all of this. Go back to our header. Let's go ahead and we'll, 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 we will replace this more menu item with HTML widget. Drop it in, paste our text, update, and see what we got. There we go. We noticed that the card is there, but it's not showing. Again, we just got to, we just need to change the color. So right click and inspect on that icon. Uh, we're just looking for why it is set to white there. So let's go ahead and expand this because we're not seeing it. We're looking for the icon. There's our icon and we see that it is set to white. Let's change it to black. Copy all of our uh, CSS. Go back to WP code box. Strip out what we everything except for what we changed. We only want to put what we changed in there to keep our CSS file as small as possible. Okay. Um, for some reason, those are, that's not aligned. I have no idea why. Um, it might be that we just need to adjust this column and make it smaller. See how that, that does for us. There we go. Okay, so you get the idea. I and mean, just anything is possible. I just don't want you guys to be hesitant to create the header of your <laughs> the header of your dreams because of the fear of not being able to use the my listing elements in your header. So um, again, I hope this video is helpful and it unlocks more creativity for you guys. Um, I don't ever, I've never asked this in the past of any, any, any of you, um, but going forward, I'm going to ask if you would, if you found this useful or any of my videos useful, just please hit the subscribe button. Um, it, it helps me out a lot. It helps the club, uh, videos get found, helps the club get found and helps all of us in the end. Uh, all right. Thank you all for watching.